So you just got done with an engagement and your client decided to pay you in a non-traditional method of payment. And now you have to fly with it back to your office. Let's talk about some of the more interesting aspects you'll run into with that. Flying with large amounts of currency or assets can be tricky. Now let's talk about some of the rumors that we hear. You can't fly with more than $10,000 in cash. That is true if you want to fly with it undeclared internationally. Domestically here in the US, there is no such restrictions on how much you can fly with with cash. You will want to declare it. And even if you do declare it, uh, the TSA uh, might just take it. That's what the government does. Actually, it, it's, it's not the TSA technically, yeah, before everyone gets in all angry and screaming behind their keyboards at me. So then you might be thinking, ah, I got the answer. I fly with gold. Gold's the answer to everything, right? Inflation's coming, buy gold. That's what they tell you. I don't tell you the other part about it, but well, that's outside the scope of this video. We don't need to cover about that part. There are some restrictions. If you're flying with over a million dollars worth of gold, um, there, you're just not allowed to do that domestically. Um, so as long as the value is under $1 million, then you can be okay. Now, you still have to declare it. TSA will be angry at you and law enforcement will also be angry at you and they could still take it. A million dollars worth of gold. Let's do some quick math. It's like 33 pounds, right? Wow, that's, that's a heavy bag. A million dollars of cash is around 22 pounds. It's more effective to carry the cash. Though it might seem like a cool idea to get paid in gold bullion, there are complications that arise and you still get taxed on it. So you're getting taxed on it. Someone's getting a cut. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other problems. All right. So you've decided, ah, diamonds, conflict diamonds. I mean, conflict free diamonds. That's what you want, right? You want to get paid in diamonds. They're small, right? I mean, this is, uh, these are two one carat diamonds. 10 grand worth of diamonds right here. Really tiny, right? They're like one, uh, just a hair over one carat each. Uh, really tiny. You pack a ton of these in your carry-on. Yes, and again, you might have to declare them, right? Flying with precious stones. Finding that information is actually harder. So if you know about flying with precious stones, like put that in the comments. With that, you still have the liquidity problem, turning it into fiat. Now there is an answer if you want to travel with large sums of money without declaring it, which again, I'm not recommending. I'm not saying do that. You talk to your lawyer, you figure out. I'm not your lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, but outside of that, crypto. This is what $10,000 looks like right there. This is what $10,000 can look like. This is what $10 million could look like. Doesn't matter. The size doesn't change. That's the best part about this. It looks like a fancy USB drive. TSA is never gonna know what this is. They're not smart enough to know what this is. They have algorithms that check for this on their badge scanner. When they see this, they're like, oh yeah, looks like technology, cool. We're gonna let you through, thanks. When it comes to flying with assets in large quantities, that also has the ability to be useful quickly, crypto's the easy win there. That's how I would do it if I were to do it. Again, I'm not saying I'm doing it. How many lists am I gonna get put on for making these videos? Holy crap. But crypto could be your answer on traveling with large sums of money. So if you want to accept non-traditional forms of payment, which means you're not gonna get written a check or wired money directly to your account. You can try these methods. And if you do, let me know how that works out for you.
I'd be super interested to hear how that works out. But traveling with crypto, no one's gonna know what this is. And if people do start figuring out what this is, people on the government level, you can just change the look of this and then it's another thing. They won't know what it is. Well, thanks for joining us. If you liked that video, make sure you hit that like button. If you dislike the video, just pretend you didn't watch it and don't hit that dislike button. If you want to see more great content like this, make sure you hit subscribe. And I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. Be safe. Happy hacking.